In the 1950s, Cuba rejected capitalist exploitation and chose its own form of government. In response, for over 60 years, the Cuban people have endured a criminal economic blockade imposed by the United States to strangle Cuban socialism. Despite this blockade, the Cuban people have fought even harder to further the cause of social justice. This has been even more striking since the start of COVID-19, when Cuba, faced with crisis itself, reached out to the world. During the height of the pandemic, Cuba sent teams of doctors to over 40 countries on all five continents. Despite the blockade, Cuban scientists performed a miracle. They invented not one but five different COVID-19 vaccines, which they have offered to other countries. Throughout this time of great hardship, the Cuban people have acted with generosity and solidarity. We must now show our solidarity with them. With the country weakened by the pandemic, the United States is seizing its opportunity. The US has cruelly intensified the blockade, causing critical material shortages, particularly in energy and in health. These measures are intended to create conditions that will turn the people against their government. They have had a devastating effect on Cuban society, leading to suffering, death and hardship. They're taking advantage of this, engaging in foreign interference to incite troublemakers and social unrest in Cuba. The EU and US are pursuing a vicious propaganda attack against the Cuban revolutionary social process. The Biden administration has blamed the Cuban government for a disaster the US has created and now is raising demands for a so-called humanitarian intervention. It cannot be exaggerated how insulting this is to the Cuban people who are well aware of who is responsible for their hardship. The US aim is not to help the Cuban people, the aim is regime change. We cannot allow this to go unopposed. We declare our complete solidarity with the Cuban people. We repudiate the false narrative that blames the Cuban government for the effects of the sanctions. We join the chorus of voices calling for the immediate end to the criminal blockade. We denounce the corrupt imperialist policy pursued by the European Union in Latin America and call on the EU to change tack.